Welcome to the conclusion video for the Vagrant from Scratch course. Let's summarize some of the key points we've learnt on this course. Firstly, you can use a Vagrant file to describe your environment, and your environment can contain as many virtual machines as you require. Within your Vagrant file, you can describe any port mappings between your guest VMs and the host, so that services running within your environment are easily accessible. Vagrant will take care of mapping a port for SSH access automatically, so that's one thing you don't have to worry about. On each of the guest VMs in your environment, your project's root directory will be mounted by default at the path of slash Vagrant. This turns out to be an extremely convenient feature. If you require Windows VMs, those are also available, but it does require more work, and you will have to make use of another tool produced by HashiCorp called Packer to produce the Windows boxes. Otherwise, Linux boxes are available to download for free from the public box catalog provided by HashiCorp. Although we covered a lot in the course, there's still a lot more you could investigate to become a true Vagrant expert. We only use VirtualBox as a provider in this course. If you're interested, you could explore how to use Vagrant with other providers such as VMware. Also, we only use the basic shell provisioner in this course, but you could use one of the other provisioners that make use of tools such as Chef, Puppet or Docker. Another thing you most likely will definitely want to explore is the ecosystem surrounding Vagrant plugins. These add additional functionality to Vagrant and may come in handy for your particular use cases in the future. Beyond these three suggestions, there are a whole bunch of other things you can investigate further, and I suggest you consult the Vagrant documentation if you want to get some ideas. It's been a long journey and we've learned quite a lot along the way. Hopefully you're now proficient with Vagrant and understand how you can create your own completely customised virtual environments. It's been a pleasure teaching you this course. If you want to see more informative content, be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other videos available on my channel. I'll hopefully see you again in another LIGA Learn course in the future. Goodbye for now.